Hey, it's Tinla from DIY and welcome to my channel. Do you want to see how I drill the motherboard backplate so that I can mount the standoffs to hold the motherboard into the case? So let's watch this video and see how it's done. I have this beautiful but huge EATX motherboard that I want to mount onto this full tower case. But some of the mounting holes are not lined up so I need to drill them. As you can see, I got 10 in total but only 6 screws are usable and the other four are somehow not accommodating. First, I mount the motherboard BCB into the existing hole screw onto the back plate. I just want to make sure that I line the motherboard up to the final position where I want it. It's best to use at least two locating standoff. You don't know what it is. Here, I'll show you the picture. That's the locating standoff. Then I find a drill that snugly fit into the hole on the motherboard BCB. In my case, it's four millimeter hole, uh, so I get a 532, which is one to two thousand of an inch smaller than four millimeters. I don't want it too tight, but I don't want it to too loose uh, either. I did want it perfectly fit into the hole. Uh, some of the motherboard BCB has different size holes, so make sure that you check the size before doing this. You don't want to remove any material from the BCB, just get a drill bit that's smaller than a hole, but not too loose, alright? So I use the 4mm drill bit and mark the location on the back plate. Then I switch to a number 2 center drill and use my hands to mark it to make a bigger spot. Uh, if you don't do this and you directly use a hand drill, it might wander and mark a different spot. So it's important to use like your hand first with the center drill to mark a bigger spot before switching into an actual drill to drill the hole. So then after I mark the bigger spot, I put it onto the, the hand drill with still number two center drill here. Okay, and then it slowly, slowly don't put any pressure onto the back plate. Just, just enough. You don't want to drill through with the with the center drill. And then I switch to number 40 uh, pilot drill, which is a 98 valve drill or a 2.5 millimeter drill for the M3 by 0.5 metric tap. Once you got a hole, it's a matter of getting a, a M3 tap and tap those holes for your standoff. The result were perfect. I'm happy how it came out. And the these two hole location sit on the valley so that I need to use some sort of like a washer to, to have it level up with the rest of the other standoff. And also for additional security, I use the 3M nuts on the other side of the back plate and fasten those standoff down. Pretty much depends on how many threads on the skinny back plate, you know? If your back plate is really thick material, you got at least three threads. You don't need to have a nut on the other side. But if it's a skinny back plate and you can only have one thread or two threads, so you might strip them if you tie the standoff too hard. And that's how I do it. It's pretty much easy, but you don't want to rush it. The tolerance is very high, so you don't want to drill at even one millimeter off the location. It can throw off your, your, your mounting point, okay? So you don't rush it. And also you can apply this one throughout your case, anywhere that you want to make a hole, tap a hole. So basically the idea is the same. Anyway, so that's how I did it. That's how I do it. And hope that you find this video is useful. For the next video, if you want to see how I mount onto the back plate where there's a cutout, there's nothing to drill, please subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Okay, bye for now.